To make bramble cordage, you can utilize the flexible and strong fibers from brambles or thorny vines. Follow these steps. Collect brambles. Look for long, flexible bramble stems or thorny vines. Brambles are often found in areas with thick vegetation or along the edges of wooded areas. Process the brambles. Using a sharp knife or a pair of pruners, carefully cut the bramble stems near the base, ensuring you have a length of at least a few feet. Remove any thorns or side branches from the stems. Strip the bark. Starting at one end of the bramble stem, use your knife to make a shallow cut along the length of the stem. Gently pull the bark away from the inner core of the stem. The goal is to separate the fibrous bark from the woody core. Peel off the bark. Once you have made the initial cut, grip the end of the bark strip firmly and carefully peel it away from the stem. Continue peeling until you have removed the entire length of the bark strip. Twist the fibers. Take the bark strip and twist it tightly in one direction. This twisting action will cause the fibers to bind together and create a strong cordage. You can twist a single strip or twist multiple strips together to make a thicker cord. Join additional lengths. To make a longer cord, overlap the ends of two twisted bark strips and twist them together in the opposite direction. This creates a secure join. Continue twisting the combined strips to create a continuous cord. Test and strengthen. Once you have twisted the fibers into cordage, test its strength by pulling on it gently. If it feels weak or loose, untwist it slightly and repeat the twisting process, ensuring a tighter and more durable cord. Repeat and create more cordage. Continue collecting and processing brambles to make additional lengths of cordage as needed. The amount of cordage required depends on your specific needs and projects. Bramble cordage may not be as strong as cordage made from certain tree barks or natural fibers, but it can still be useful for lighter tasks such as tying bundles, securing shelter components, or crafting smaller items in a survival situation.